Hello, this is Danielle Sana. I'm going to talk about uh, an extraterrestrial mother. And then, well, apparently, I met her when I was 11 years old, and um, the first time I was the closest I've actually been with her on this planet. Well, basically, I've also been doing a bit of research. Um, to find out if anyone or anybody has um, experienced or witnessed um, similar um, type of um, person as well. Um, when I was 11 years old, basically, I was just trying to sum up the story so I can get on with the, the main part of the video. Um, when I was 11 years old, I went to bed and I was sleeping. Then I woke up and I saw a bright light shine the window. Then um, from my bedroom I saw this beam walk through the wall. Well, the, the light was behind the wall, which obviously must have been a spaceship. And then um, she um, walked through the wall and then walked through the window and then sat in my bed. And then she, then I got up and then. Um, she asked me to sit on my lap, and as she was, as I was sitting on my lap, she told me a whole lot of stuff which I can't remember. And that time, eleven years old, was too advanced for me to understand. And at the same time, she had all these holograms that were flying around my bedroom, and um, one of them um, particular that I mentioned. Was going with me. Then um, she was actually uh, naked, and she had sort of like a serpent, like a cloak type thing, but like they blew up in the wind like wings. Uh, wings, or something that makes uh, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but just check it out. This, uh, thanks to Dodero 2008 for this, by the way. You see the security running to see what happened. This is a surveillance camera in Indonesia, uh, a shopping mall or whatever it is. And after you see the light, I'm going to... And it shoots up immediately. This is going very slow. This is a slow motion so that you can see what it is. And you can see the pulsating. But it wasn't like that, it was really quick. I just, right now I'm doing it in slow motion so that you can see. Uh, it looks like a butterfly. Uh, let me see in the next one if I did it. I think in the next thing you're going to see the way it was, the original one, where it goes really fast. In here it's still going very slow. Because I wanted you to see details in this, um, I think it's an extraterrestrial. Uh, an extraterrestrial means simply from other dimensions, so it doesn't have to be, you know, a negative thing right away. This is the original, look how quick and how dark. So, boom, you see, it went like boom, boom quickly and then you see the security guard running to see and you see looking with flashlights trying to see where if they could find something on the floor you see a little light first uh, this is in a slow motion by the way it was done so you can see you can see a human noise surrounded by some type of wings and energy that is protecting it you can see uh, you see, it's right in the middle. It's very strange. I almost want to say that it is either extraterrestrials or when people come out of their body. That's the way we look like. Here I did it so you can see more in the light. I actually can see sort of like a humanoid and it's moving around inside this. And 
um, and she sort of had a, a, a light skin and was glowish, or maybe yeah, was glowish. And she stroked my hand and she told me that um, she was like a mother, a guardian of some sort. But uh, the way we were t talking, it wasn't speech, it was just like telepathy and said it's no words. Um, it was all like emotions. And then, um, my brother woke up from the instant and he thought I had the lights on in my bedroom and um, he tried to get in my room to try and um, tell me to turn off the light and go to bed but he couldn't get in my room because Anania had um, locked the, the door and um, and then was um, um, and then later on Later on, uh, and then I went up, and walked to the glass window, walked out, and then um, went to the wall and got into a spaceship, and then flew up um, to the um, stars. And uh, what was left uh, the next morning, because I told my mother the, the story, and. Uh, Mother said um, it was possibly an angel. Um, okay, that well, the being was she was actually naked, um, hermaphrodite, and um, spoke with three, probably like my boys, uh, like sort of like the um, feminine mixed up boys, and. Um, Um, and she's seven feet tall, and her shoe size was size 12, which I'll get into later. I'll got her shoe size. Well, um, I told my mum the story, my mother said to Angel, and then um, as I was telling my mother um, about um, telling my mother about her. Um, we saw the footprints in the flower beds, and that team decided to take the footprint costs and um, I kept them in my room. And for quite, I think for about nine years, I had them at the footprints. But they, my mother, because my mother was very religious, and she kind of thinks my mother was a demon, I think. So. She took them and she put them in the um, the laundry, uh, the footprints, and uh, and then from when they moved, they disappeared. And uh, I've been very astounded by why they got why they disappeared. Because I wish I had them today. And, uh, because there uh, there are evidence of the media. Um, I've actually met in Anjech, um quite recently and um, most often I meet her in, in sleep or dream. Sometimes I feel there might not actually be dreams but um, uh, sort of like consciousness transfers um, to the planet and um, we are going to another book that's like that is and, um, and the last time I, I, I get very homesick or upset <clears throat> when I go into this bed because coming back here is really upsetting. Okay, so now I'm going to go in a different bit uh, of the vi uh, video of other people who've experienced. Most people have not, um, heard my story about Nanaya. Um, first of all, um, as well, when she left her spaceship at the time when I was 11 years old, and um, there was a sort of like a, a six point spurt in the grass, and she was told me that it was actually 
And then, I don't know why or what, but, um, yeah. So basically I'm also going to uh, say something that um, uh, Eleven is those that come from the stars And um, it really um, is not a specific race or species um, It's actually the definition for great all beings from the stars. So um, there's a lot of misinformation about that, um, and I do not support galactic races <laughs> as my friend in the uh, cosmic view uh, says that uh, she doesn't support cosmic race. Galactic racism as well, um, and which I've noticed as well in even the Raylan when they just focus on either having been these um, four feet tall people only, where there's actually the truth of the matter is um, the galaxy is a community of one I don't like to see. Race. And, and, um, everyone is looking at it. Now I'm going to go into the comments. sitting straddling me, a naked blonde female, and sitting on the corner of the bed, so say I'm lying here on the bed, she's straddling me there, and right on the corner here is another female. The one that was sitting on top of me was um, blonde, very milky white skin, very, very attractive, but at the same time, a longer face, a long nose, but it wasn't a big nose again, it was just like, it, it fitted their features very well. Larger eyes, very well proportioned, I mean, I've got to say. And um, I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? How did, you know, how did you get in here? And um, as I'm thinking this, I sit up, and as I sit up, she's cupped my, the back of my head with both her hands and pulled me to her breast, left breast, and pushed my face into it. My defense mechanism, whatever you want to call it, and it's so out of thing with me, I took a, a little bite, a nip, and I felt flesh, you know, in my mouth. I didn't taste blood or anything, but I felt this bit of flesh in my mouth. I thought it was a bit of a nipple, maybe. And as it hit the back of my throat, I just, it was like you poured acid down the back of my throat, just this really bad chemical reaction. I started coughing, very heavy coughing. Kiss me, infect me with your